I'm Dr. Kevin Ju. I'm a spine surgeon with the Texas Back Institute. So decompression surgery is usually uh, where we go in there and we remove whatever is pushing on a nerve. So we basically decompress the nerve. Um, and so that can either be a disc herniation, it can be bone spurs, whatever it is. Um, we go in there, we decompress the nerves and then give the body a chance to heal and thereby reduce pain, numbness, weakness, you know, what have you. If it's a disc herniation, we can get rid of the disc herniation. If it's bone spurs from arthritis, we can go down there and shave off some of the bone spurs and basically create uh, much more space around the nerve so that it can move around um, without being compressed and irritated. We can, you know, a, a microdiscectomy, um, you know, is, is one of them. You can do a hemilaminectomy, you can do uh, just a typical laminectomy. Um, all of those types of surgeries are decompressive surgeries. Um, the other thing is that you can combine a decompression surgery with a fusion surgery as well. Um, but just purely decompressive surgery is usually laminectomies and discectomies. Decompression surgery, you know, we're removing pressure, we're, we're removing compression from around nerves. And so people who are good candidates for that, you know, those are people who have either leg pain, they have uh, what we call neurogenic claudication, meaning that they have a lot of back, uh, they have a lot of um, buttock and thigh pain when they get up and start walking. So it's mostly people who have extremity symptoms as opposed to just back pain. People who have just back pain, um, typically we're not looking at decompression surgery for them because their nerves are okay. But you know, we go in there and we're basically removing bone spurs or disc herniations. We're not putting in metal, we're not doing a fusion. And so depending on how many levels um, you have done in the surgery, some people go home the same day and other people may stay in a hospital, you know, one or two days. Um, and then even after they're out of the hospital, we tell them to take it easy. We, we don't want to do in a lot of heavy lifting or twisting or bending for the first six weeks or so. But overall, um, the recovery is, is much smoother and, and much faster than if you were to have a more involved fusion type of surgery or some other sort of um, low back surgery.